Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Shishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. I could go date an Indian, Hispanic, white man. You're not special. Let's get it. Baby, I can go date an Indian, a Hispanic, mm -hmm. a white man. Mm -hmm. Y'all not the only mm -hmm. options out here who think y'all doing well you know for yourself, and that's the problem. You know y'all done put yourselves on a pedestal you know when it comes to black women, that's and y'all need to bring it on down because have we have we have gotten to start dating outside our race, mm -hmm. okay? That's true. That's true. And finding a white man, you're not. You're we lost her, guys. We lost her. <laughs> we lost her to Waldo. That's another good one. <laughs> oh man hilarious clip of kevin samuels rest in peace um she guys heard it for yourself she's having a conversation with the black man and she basically starts talking about how black women are dating outside of their race i'm not gonna say anything quite yet i'm gonna hold my peace let's check out a response video to what this chick had to say let's get it okay i want to know what her point was because I'm not getting it. You're basically saying that you can go date another race. That's wonderful. But so can black men. What's your point? Black men been doing it. They've been dating outside of their race. Dating white girls. Dating Hispanic. They've been doing it. So what are you trying to say? And then you're saying that black men put themselves on a pedestal. I think if anybody puts themselves on a pedestal, it's black women. And I'm just being honest. We're the prize. Guys should do this for us. Men should do this for us. Da -da -da. White women can't do this. White women can't wear their hair like this is ours. This is ours. This is the like we put ourselves on the pedestal. So mm. like I said, what's your point? What are you really trying to get at? Cause I don't I don't understand it. Alright guys, so now we have two perspectives. The first lady who was bragging about being able to date outside of her race, and the second woman who's saying, like, hey, what's so special about that, right? Black men have been doing that for a while. I always think it's really interesting when I hear people brag about being able to date outside of their race. I think pretty much anybody could date outside of their race if they really wanted to. So what I stay away from personally, and you might feel differently about this, right? But this is, pers this is a personal opinion. I don't encourage black men to date white women or get a passport or go date Asian women or date outside the black race or stick to black women. I don't. I think Things get really um, weird when you start being too concerned with the type of preference someone has. I don't get triggered by black women dating outside of the race at all. Um, I know a lot of black women who get triggered when they see a black man dating outside of the race. I know a lot of black men who don't like black women dating outside of the race, right? But me personally, I don't give an F. I don't care. I don't care what somebody does when it comes to their preferences in dating. And I also don't think it's a flex to be able to date outside of your race. I've dated outside of my race. My current girl is black. I mostly have dated black women in the past. I find black women the most attractive. Yes, mostly date black women. A lot of people in my life don't think I date black women because of the way I talk, different things like that. But hey, this is not about me, even though I do have my own personal thoughts and opinions about like, People who think solutions are get a passport, date outside of your race to avoid these problems because they somehow think that like female empowerment is exclusively in the black community. That shit is, that shit kills me sometimes. Have black women grabbed onto um, female empowerment stronger than other groups of women? Yes, I can agree with that. But men in other races, shit, men in Africa, as a man who was born in Africa, it's getting to the point where female empowerment is infiltrating other countries that you would think are more traditional right and if you guys want me to go into my thoughts about like dating women outside of this country getting your passport and stuff um my personal experience i can i can do that in a totally different video comment down below i'll do that for you guys but in this video i want to go back to the lady who was talking earlier it's not a flex it's not a flex to date outside of your race um i don't think it's a flex i think if a woman, any woman, especially a black woman, is able to find somebody, marry them, then that's great. And why do I say especially? Well, based on the data, black community has the highest rate of single mother households. So that's a win when a woman's able to get married, build a family. And it's a win for men too, right? But when it comes to this idea of should men date in the black community, outside of the black community, should women date in the black community, outside of the black community, I say date where you're wanted, date where you want, 
where you feel the most comfortable and most respected and the most peace right but as always i'm curious to know what you guys think leave your comments down below listen i appreciate you guys for checking out another episode of the coffee pot till next time i'm out peace